Hello and welcome! In this video, I'll be unboxing the Resident Evil 2 Collector's Edition for PlayStation 4. I've literally just grabbed this from the front door as it was delivered and quite happy to see it. I've cut this open, looked inside and I was like, oh, that actually looks really good. So I decided to uh, wait to pull it out from the box with you guys. So let's get to it. Um, we'll slide it out this way, I think. Okay, that looks like will be the best way to do it. Nice secure packaging. Um, and then awesome sturdy box to put it straight back into once I'm done because I'm packing up to move houses. Okay, quite nice and large. Let's see if I can keep this all intact so that it's easier to pack up. <laughs> uh, pause for a sec. Okay, I ended up uh, taking the tape off and also stopping the recording, so restart it up. But here we have it, it's a Resident Evil 2 Collector's Edition. It's an R18 Plus game in Australia, it's by Capcom. This is the PlayStation 4 version. Let's slide it around, look at the other sides. On the rear here we have Collector's Edition includes Resident Evil 2 Steelbook Edition, Limited Edition RPD Keys, uh, Art Book, CD Soundtrack, 12 inch Leon figurine, Made in Heaven pin badge, uh, poster, deluxe DLC pack. Uh, the deluxe DLC pack includes uh, Eliza Walker costume, New York costume, times two, uh, Arclay Sheriff costume, and uh, military costume, as well as Samurai Edge Albert model, play optional New York screen filter, and original version soundtrack. Whop. Cool. Okay, so that's that side. Um, down here we have one player, need 25 gigabytes minimum, DualShock 4 vibration function, HD output, remote play, enhanced with the PS4 Pro. Uh, let's swap it around. Yep, awesome. Nothing. Cool. Okay. Let's get to the unboxing. So, slice the sticker things from the side, and the other side. And let's slide it out. Okay. Open it up. Do 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 do. Okay. Let me see what is the best way to do this. Does this come out or is that attached in? Okay, that's attached in. We have, I believe, the poster. Ugh. That fell out. Okay, so we have uh, Raccoon Police Station first floor, as well as Raccoon Police Station coveted, converted museum to reopen in 1969. Wonderful. Hold that back up. <clears throat> also inside there was the DLC. Close that back up. Pull. Oof. Okay. We have what I believe will be. Yep, the art book. Let's try and get a better view of this. Okay. 
There we go, just a quick little flip through for that. We have the key set in here. I saw someone commenting that they're upset that it's cardboard only and not an actual wooden uh, chest sort of thing. Now let's see if I can actually open it up. There we go. But the keys themselves look gorgeous. Let's grab some out. So here we have what I want to say is looks a bit purpley. Okay, there we go. In that angle it looks nice and blue. And then we have a pink diamond. And we have a red heart. And while I'm pulling this out, I'll mention this is one of the main reasons I pre ordered this edition for these keys, because they are amazing looking. So, this was a extremely limited edition sort of thing. Um, so, here we have green clover or uh, clubs as per the uh, poker set sort of thing ruling. Um, so yeah, extremely limited, uh, online only for pre-order at EB Games Australia uh, for like $450 Australian because everything's super expensive here. Um, we also have a pin made in heaven. We have the steel case of the game. Let's open this up and have a look. Be able to pull. There we go. There it is. Oh no, there it is. Cool. Pull it open like that. Slide the slip case off. So here we have the steel case. And the game disc as well as the inside of the steel case. Put that back in. Uh, the other ratings from other regions of the world. Some standard copyright warranty sort of things. So that's that. Underneath that we have the soundtrack CD. Those are the songs included. Well, soundtracks really. And let's pull out the CD, have a look at it. Ink ribbon for typewriters, real tape. Looks very nice. Some good design choices on this. Okay. Now that's everything from the top compartment. So now we have the statue to get out. Okay. That looks to be everything from inside. So let's move that back there a little try and keep it on the table and let's open this up but first up let's have a look at it so top has badge resident evil 2 leon s kennedy coon police station officer plane on all the other sides on the bottom we have standard copyright sort of information and stuff and now let's open it up Okay, pull that out, chuck that back there, and where did I put that? There it is, sorry, just needed to find the knife to cut all the tape. Got it all. Okay. Don't tell me there's more tape. 
There it is. More tape for the base. So let's cut that as well. Move that to the side. And now let's start off by looking at the base. Here we have RPD, Raccoon Police. Have nameplate. Put that down. Grab out the statue itself. Quite weighty. Has some nice quality detail work. Quite handsome looking. Nice details on the badge. Textured clothing. Walkie talkie. Okay. Let's affix it to the stand. Just make sure I do actually put it through right away. Okay, there we have it. So that is essentially it for this unboxing. Let me know in the comments section below, what do you think? Have you picked this one up yourself? Were you lucky enough to get a pre-order down? Um, like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. I do unboxing, shopping hauls and gaming videos quite often. Other than that, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching, and goodbye.